Good day, viewers, friends, and family. I am so excited to anchor this program today. My name remains Oki Z. Michael. In today's edition, I will have the privilege to interview Mr. Chidi Alozi, who is the MD CEO of Cross Technologies Limited. Mr. Chidi, you're welcome on this program. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you so much. Please, may we know what you do at Cross Technologies? Well, what we do at the moment is that we're into generator remote control system. A situation where if you have your diesel generator, so when they per check light, the normal thing is for you to come outside or your generator, pack up, pack up, you change over. But yeah. with our system, if never check light, if you have a matter, you have to take up seamlessly. But if now there is any reason for you to oil your gen, just press the remote control pin, the generator will start and then change over automatically. So as the change is running, anytime NEPA restore light, it will change over to NEPA automatically and then off the generator by itself automatically. So that is what we do at the moment. So in want to get you exactly, mm -hmm. you have a solution yeah. by which people no longer need to physically go and turn on their generator and turn it off. Sure. They can now use by yeah. means of a remote control, sure. they can power the generator sure. and as well turn it off. Sure. Wow. Yeah. Please tell us. How did you get started? Well, it's a long story. Let me see. Uh, many years ago, I have an, a wonderful idea. And I discovered that there are things I can just do on my brain. But I don't have the fund. I didn't have the fund at all. So I started saying, what will I do? I went to Raw Material and Development Institute in Abuja, Raw Materials. So I told them what I can do. I let them see how they can provide fund for me. They said, okay, I should go to NACENI, National Agency for Science and the Engineering Infrastructure. Okay. I went to NACENI, applied, I followed the protocol. They said, no budget. That I should go to Enugu, Scientific Equipment Development Institute. So I went to Enugu. Wow, I was amazed when I saw the facilities they have there. I applied for other the materials to develop what I want to develop, or the necessary form, and then to me so that I can be able to come up with something. But if said that they could not help. But the only thing I achieved is that that is where I met the woman I let her marry. Mm. So that's where we met. So I came back to Abuja, I started to struggle, struggle, struggle. Nothing was just working out well. But eventually, I came across personal development. I started to develop myself. Eventually, uh, I was able to get enough fund to do the thing. Then I started to market that idea of trapping barrier. Because I now noticed that when you come to those institutions in Abuja then, at the gate, you just see a security man who will now untie, untie something, they tie a rope. Okay. A particular barrier will yes. go up. Oh. Then they will now the draw it. Will Thank pass. you very much. Then that's what they were doing before. And I said to myself, no, I can change this. So I now developed a, a spring-loaded remote control by that system. But if you're not coming, instead of a person press, they will press a remote control pin, that barrier will go up. Then when they go to pass now, I developed it. Then I installed it in many government institutions, ranging from ICPC, NOIC, Minister of Justice, name them, SCD, many places. Hmm. So government, you are not able to help me with the phone to do what I want to do. But when I succeeded, oh, government patronized me. So mm -hmm. I'm happy with government too that at least they were, in fact I even did some job. I did some job and I won the contract because I had no competitor. I was the one who bid for that particular traffic by that system. Even ICPC, I, I got their job through bidding. Hmm. So if I'm to get to exactly this this um this um product of um operating your generator using a remote, sure. It's not the first technology you have designed at all. Okay. At all. I started with that uh, barrier system. Okay. Now, after the barrier system, I now move, I eventually into remote control gate. I started doing the power, solar power, the remote control gate. The thing was just working well. You press the remote, it opens, you press, it closes. Then, something happened then in Abuja. A lady was attacked when she came out to operate her generator in the midnight. So, eventually, she died in the hospital. So before then, even myself, I used to have a little bit of fear. 
when I want to go and off my genitals, what are you going to do and somebody attack me? So that incident that happened, I said to myself, ah, there's a need. Why can't I go into helping people to use the remote to operate their generator and their changeover? Now, as they with a barrier system, it was working. As they did with a gate system. So that was how I ventured into automatic uh, changeover system that I'm doing now. So when I now went there, developed it, it was working well for myself. I now put one of my clients who was using my automatic gate. I said, sir, now you know that when you have a light, or you want to on jail for any reason, even in the morning, you have to come downstairs, on your generator, you do your normal changeover. That's the normal. Uh -huh. I said, sir, it's very, very stressful. And I tell you, sir, you notice know, too that there will be nepa light. Uh, as, just, as soon as you're doing nepa light, you go out on your generator. You go out on your generator. As I tell you, take that light again. So, the out of uh, stress and inconveniences using manual system. system. And at times too, you'll be sleeping, they bring the light. If you go out to off that gym, when you come back, you're not even going to sleep again. So I don't know. He said, okay, what can I what, what is it? What can we do? I say, sir, I'm going to install a remote system for you. Well, if, if you want to own your gym, just press the remote. That's your generator will start. Then this is a change over now. I'm going to put a motorized system that will automatically change it. Change it okay. Yeah, sure. So the man said, wow, out of when they are installed. I said it will change it back to Nepal and then it will object automatically. So it was a wonderful idea for him. We discuss how much. I said, sir, yeah, this is what I was charge. But then don't pay me. I'm going to do the job, use it, then after five days, confirm it and pay me. The man said, Wow, that was how I started. Mm -hmm. So how how long ago was it till now? That was about uh, 10, 11 years ago, I remember. So during these 10, 11 years. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the concept or the product that you had mm. was obviously new to the system because sure. what I have known all this while mm. is the normal mm. starting your generator mm. or using the key to actually get it started sure. and then changing over, sure. you know, switching on and off. Sure. So, how were you able to penetrate the market? That's a very good question. If I tell you about then, I now notice something. Well, I started to make much more money. So, when I now go to banks, banks mainly, I now see that most times the banks are always on generator. Whereby their neighbors, other people using other things now, are always on neighbor. But then they have their own transformer. So it cannot be because of having low voltage. I now like because that most of these uh, technicians or most of these uh, security men now, once they take light once or twice now, they will prefer because of laziness to be on generator. Okay. So they will be going up and down. down. So most times, Banks will just run generator for a whole day. For a whole day. Because wow. of this uh, human error and things like that. So I approached about four banks. Say, sir, this is what I can do for you. But you're going to tell me something that uh, banks, each bank, don't do all those kind of things on their own. Okay. That should go to head office in Lagos. Central system. So eventually, I think about one or twice or two, I went to Lagos. I wrote to all the banks then. When there, there was a Shady Bank and the Intercontinental Bank, I wrote to them. Okay. So tell them what I can do. So instead of all those uh, Nepal come, all those things. But eventually, uh, the thing, I was not getting the response I required then. And I told my wife one day, said, darling, let's move to Lagos. So that was how I went to Lagos. I came back, I came to Lagos here. And I had a, if I'm in Lagos, and I pursue the thing with all alacrity, I will be able to succeed. But after some time, I pursued, I pursued, I persevered to the best of my ability. But then, I was not getting the necessary response. And I told to myself, ah, why can't I go into personal houses and let them know what I can do? Then, when I moved in here, I was even doing the solar power leakage. Okay. So I talked to one of my you know, clients there and said, sir, I've done this thing. Instead of coming down to all your generator, I can put a remote system for you. Eventually, the man sent out that particular idea. I did it for him. So I now was practically begging my customers then that, sir, just recommend me. People will like this idea. And besides, too, another thing that helped me was that my unique selling promise of use my system, I will install it for you. After five days, you pay. If mm. you are not comfortable, don't pay. So that thing was one small secret that really helped me. Enabled you to get oh, into the market. Sure, sure. Now, today, I thank God for what I'm able to achieve. If you come to many in the Banana Land, the VGC, Pino Beach, our systems are all over. Mm. That's a very fantastic one. So, obviously, from what I can deduce, or from what I can take from what you've just um, said, for you to penetrate into the markets, 
you have to devise a means. And um, one of such means was um, um, getting the, the product to the customer to use, to sure. test first, yeah. and then pay later. Yeah, sure. How, how has that been? Have you encountered customers who have used the product and were not, um, were not ready to pay you? In fact, I've come to see it. In life, that is even is where people are not succeeding. Uh, most times, if we can take like a customer, that will help us to know how to what what it takes for a customer to buy our product. So you in the whole world to say you have to take some risk. If you don't take risk, people will not really believe in you. I can't even say any person who have bought my who have not even paid me. People are good. People are not that bad. So, but I even say people after two or three days, they say, okay, don't worry, bring your account in, show me some warranty. If it's not working, I will call on you. This thing is so nice. People are be paying. So you mean that um, all this while you've not had an encounter where a customer decides I, I, not to? I, I, I have not because they always enjoy it. I have not. So people are very good. Hmm. So over this period of 10, 11 years of um, practicing, developing technologies, mm -hmm. what can you say is the major challenge that you have faced in the industry? Well, the major challenge I've faced in the industry is that uh, because I'm already, I'm already, I'm already a motivated person. So that's why I said that the key to success as a business person is see yourself as a businessman or a businesswoman. Now, you should not be able to do what those who are successful in business do. Okay. There's always what we call the cost of law, um, cost and defeat. Do something in a different way and get a different result. So as I told you before now, without personal development, I don't think I will have any business. So no matter what, I have what it takes to be able to handle the challenge. There might be challenges in business, that's not too worry about it. But when you have what it takes, you'll be able to know how to manage the business. Please, can you mention to us one of one or two of such challenges that you have met in the course of um, you're running your business, in the course of relating with your customers that you have successfully mitigated? Well, the issue is that dealing with humans is not easy. Even the clients themselves. Uh, some of them, uh, their character is deeper. But one thing is that if you have in mind, because I always have it in mind that if I do my customers well, they will be happy with me, they will be able to refer me to their, you know, yeah. So no matter what, I just know, I've not had a bigger, bigger challenge, but I just know how to handle customers, no matter their temperament, no matter the kind of person they are, and so far we're moving on. Right now, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Well, thank you so much. In fact, uh, in life, uh, I always operate in the assumption that all I know is all I have learned. And all I have learned is not all there is to know. So I'm always open to information. I just attended a, a seminar called the Tabula Academy. And the based on things I learned, I'm going to take due advantage of uh, information and internet. And uh, yes, I'm going to for formally, all my clients is just based on referral, 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 referral. But based on what I know now, I'm positioning myself to take due advantage of uh, information technology. And I hope I will actually go far in terms of making sure that a lot of people come to know what I do. But most times, um, when you have a product, people don't know what you have. That will limit you. It is just like when you are winking somebody in the dark. It is just like that. You know, that person will not see you. Not see you. So when you now have a product, people don't even know your product. How would they actually buy from you? From you? Just as some people too now, they are in the local small small businesses. Maybe you sew clothes, you do hair. People are around you, your publication. People are around you, you don't even know what you do. So how will they patronize you? So as much as possible, once you want to succeed, let people around you know what you do for business. Be proud of what you do. So when you're proud of what you do, people will come to know you. And once you are good at it, it won't just a matter of time, you are going to succeed in that business. For someone who is just starting out as an entrepreneur mm. and for someone who is struggling as an entrepreneur, what advice do you have for such people? Yeah, the person should actually know that this life has gone far. There's no need to reinvent the whole thing. Okay. Uh, most rich people have suffered what some of some people are suffering now. Okay. And the rich people or successful people are not stingy, they are not stingy with information. They are not stingy with ideas on how you can succeed in business. But the fact is this, that most times, people don't even come for them, come to them for advice. On business. On business, people don't come. 
I can actually imagine now, there's one of the things that is recommended. Somebody you are not doing well, maybe your account, you have 10,000 naira, that's your money, that's the highest you have. Can you imagine, you know, calling a big man, a multi billionaire, say, sir, uh, I want to grow in my business, sir, I want to have a lunch with you, I'm going to pay. Tell me any lunch place, any place you want us to go for this, I'm going to pay. No, of course, that big man is going to be very, to go to where I can a museum. But then, if you can do it, after the man eats, he's happy, go there with the bell and, um, and, bell, um, barrel and paper. So start asking him, sir, this is what I do. I really appreciate what you have achieved. You know, one thing about nature is this. If you place somebody, whether young or old, that person will feel uh, heightened, will feel happier now. It's just natural. Right. So um, I'll commend that particular big man, commend him for what he has done, and then ask him to advise you or ask him to advise you. It is 100% sure that that particular big man is going to understand your business, he's going to advise you. But one thing that that particular person will tell you is what I just told you before, give attention to personal development, read books. Most people are even lazy. Some people, the time they read, they, find, they can't even imagine reading one or two or three, five books. It's not possible. It's always not easy. So how will you now succeed on something you don't even have the knowledge about it? You mean that um, reading equals success? 100%. In business. 100%. 100%. There's a, a, one of my mentors will always say that for you to succeed in business, you just read books on that particular business commensurate with your age. So that means you have now eight, a 40 year old man. Okay. You want to go into business. If you want to succeed in that particular business, read at least 40 books. Wow. Yeah, sure. Because by the time you start reading those books now, you are going to start deleting some mindset that is really affecting that individual. That's the reality about it. But most times now, people are not willing to take that sacrifice. They will enter into business, into something that they don't even know about. And nobody to mentor them. Yes. So we're going to, to mentor them. So how will you succeed in something you don't even know about? It's not possible. So most young ones, if they want to succeed in business, they should go to those who have succeeded and ask them for advice. Most of them are willing to give advice free of charge. Free of charge. But most people are not willing to come, go to them and say, sir, you are doing well. I want you to really help me. I want you to mentor me. Please, uh, help me. Most are not willing to do that. But rather, but rather they go to some safe performance. Of course, of course. And and you, that's how to kill relationship. That's how, by the time you call a woman today, you ask him for fun. Next time he give you, they thought that you just see a Because that thing will not help you and it will help you too. So by so doing, you just killed or murdered that relationship. You are asking that person, sir, I want you to assist me. I want you to help me to grow my business. And you will advise. As I told you before, I have the idea when I was looking for funds from government here and there. But then, I didn't succeed until I gave attention to personal by reading books. Even this I've just told you is helping me now of people use it for five days. Then then after you can pay me. I'm taking risk. But I should do that book. So if I didn't read that book, I won't have known that secret. And you won't have gotten this far. Sure! I won't be sitting, sir. I want to do this thing for you. She's 150,000 naira. Give me 100%, uh, 30, 40, 60, or 75%. You know, that was it. And so, now, what you have just explained to them is magical. They can't imagine it. They want it. But risking their money on something they've not they, seen. They've not tested. They've not tested. It's risky. So, some will not tell you, oh, okay, now I will get back to you. They will not get back to you. But the way I've positioned it now, I'm taking the risk. I'm going to say this as, oh, that means oh, that for you to say this thing now, you really trust this thing that you are saying. And that's the impression. Of course I do. So people should go to those who have succeeded and hear from them. So viewers, you can see that um, one of the take-home points for my interview of Mr. Chidi Alozi is the fact that rather than seek for monetary support from the well-to-do, like your relatives who are well-to-do, rather than to ask them to give you money to start up in a business or to support your business to grow, you can actually seek for advice. You can seek for knowledge. You can ask them to advise you on the way and manner you run your business. And their input, if you imbibe it into yours, you can obviously make a headway. 
And another point too he talked about is the fact that you need to keep reading. Self-development can never be overemphasized. As much as you want to succeed in your business, you want to read as much as you can on that industry, on the model of your business. The more you read, the more knowledge you will have to deal with challenges. Sure. That's uh, one of the books I will ask you to read is the book called The Richest Man in Babylon. This is a book that I think that every individual who wants to do well in life should have that book. The Richest, the richest man, man in Babylon. Babylon. Yes. Mm. A very key book. Some of our viewers might be interested to um, get to try your service out. Can they reach you? Just go to www.closetechnology.com. That's our website. Do you have a phone number you can yes, also call us? Yes, our phone number is 070 If they repeat that. 070 Thank you so much, Mr. Chibi. Thank you once It's again. been my pleasure to have you around. Thank you. And um, as much as possible, the feedbacks that we're going to get from, from our viewers, from the family, and from the friends, um, if we actually call on you for further advice regards to what we do or what you do, mm -hmm. we are very sure that um, you will actually come to our aid. Thank you so much. Oh, well, thank, thank you so, so much. much. All right, the pleasure you. is ours. All right. Power automation technology with remote control. Your family deserves the luxury and safety of a remote control change over a system. Power outage? No need to step out. All you need is your remote control from anywhere inside the house. Like this. You use the remote control to start your key start or button on a diesel generator. Changes over to generator automatically. When NEPA restores power, the system changes over to mains and automatically switches off your generator in seconds, thus reducing the amount of money you spend on diesel and generator maintenance. After installation, enjoy the system for five days before payment. 24 months warranty. For more information, call or WhatsApp Chilos Technology Limited on 070-3165-4229.